First, I want to thank you very much for placing an order with Nationwide Barcode. I certainly appreciate it. After you make your purchase, you get an automated email from us. And once you get that email, you click on this link right here, and that's going to take you to a page that looks like this. This is the page where you can download your certificate of authenticity, your Excel spreadsheet of all of your barcode numbers, a resource and support document, and your barcode graphics, both UPC and EAN. Now, we have this giant red stop sign here. Please stop and read this information. This is very important stuff. As far as the barcode graphics, the UPCs and the EANs, if you're in the United States and Canada, or selling in the United States and Canada, you're going to use the UPCs. If you are selling outside of the U.S. and Canada, you're going to use the EANs. And the spreadsheet is going to have a column for both of those. Now, before you start downloading stuff, I recommend that you... Make a folder on your computer. I like to save everything on my desktop as I'm working on it. And then once I double check everything and it's what I expect it to be, then I move that folder to another part of my computer, usually in my, my documents folder. So I have the folder right here. And what I've done is I've named it barcodes underscore today's date. And I'm going to save everything to that. Now, the reason I do that is if I have a second order of barcodes, then it's going to have a different date and I can differentiate one from the other. Now, there's two ways to save stuff. You can either click on it and then save it. But what happens when you do that is it usually goes to your download folder. But if you right click on it, save link as, you can then find the folder and save all of the materials right to that folder. Now, I've already saved all of this stuff, so I'm not going to do it again. But what you do is you right-click, save link as, find the destination folder, hit save, and then you move to the next. Now, my feeling is that you've purchased the UPCs and you get the EANs. You may as well download everything just so you have it. When you're done with this, my recommendation is you make a backup copy of everything. Do it on a CD or do it on a USB drive or Dropbox. But it's really important that you make a backup copy of all of this. It's important stuff. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at the folder. The folder contains everything. You have the barcode list, which is an Excel file. The Excel file, if you're on a Mac, it's going to open to numbers. And if you don't have Excel nor numbers, then you can go to www.openoffice.org and download a free copy of OpenOffice. This is a program that was originally created by Sun Microsystems and is really better than Microsoft Office. So the first thing that I want to do is let's open up the Certificate of Authenticity. We have the Certificate of Authenticity so you can see what it looks like. We show the span of numbers from the very first number to the very last number. If you only ordered one barcode, then you're going to see that number twice. Otherwise, it's the first to the last. Since barcodes are sequential to the second to the last number, well, the last number is a check digit. And to create that check digit, there's a mathematical formula that takes the odd and the even numbers, does some different mathematical computations, adds them together, rounds off the number to get that final number in the UPC or EAN barcode. On the certificate, we want to show that they're sequential, so we designate the check digit with a parenthesis, X in parenthesis. The actual numbers that you're going to be using are in the spreadsheet or the file names of the barcode graphics. So now that you've seen that, let's take a look at spreadsheet. When you download the spreadsheet, sometimes there's a little overlap right here. Take your mouse, and you can see that the mouse changes from that, kind of that big plus sign to a cross with arrows on, on both sides. Take your mouse, go between the A and the B column, double click. That's going to open that up so that way you can see all of these numbers right here. The spreadsheet has two columns. It has the first column for the UPCs and the column for the EANs. And to explain this a little bit better, the EAN is a subset of the UPC. The only difference between the EAN and the UPC is a leading zero. UPCs don't have country codes since they're only used in the U.S. and Canada. EANs do. The country code for both the U.S. and Canada is zero, 
And since we're a US-based company and all of our barcode prefixes originated in the US, when we create and sell EANs, they start with a zero. The spreadsheet can be used to track which product you've assigned to which number. So what you can do is you can add another column here. You can have product information, list out the products. And this is a good idea because you don't want to assign the same number to two different products. Now let me show you a, kind of a handy trick. Right here what you have are a, a bunch of barcode numbers, EAN numbers, that start with a leading zero. Sometimes when you open and close Excel, that leading zero is going to drop off because Excel doesn't think that it's anything and that the number starts with kind of that hard number. So what we do is we come to this first one, we come up here to the formula bar, and then use a single quote. Hit enter. Now if you want to just copy that down, hit the, the format painter, go like that. And then now you can see this. All of them have that, uh, uh, that single quote. And then hit save. And then when you open and close Excel, you're not going to have any problems. Now let's take a look at the barcode graphics. The barcode graphics are provided as zipped files, which means that they're compressed files. So the first thing you have to do is you have to extract them. A Windows-based computer, all you do is you take your mouse, you right click, you go to extract all, and now you can see all of the barcode graphics. So what we do is we provide these to you in two different file formats, a vector EPS, which is a scalable file. You can make it as small or as big as you want. And it's used with Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, CorelDRAW, some of the really high-end graphic design programs. This is the format that if you've hired a designer to do a label for you, they're probably going to want that. And then there's the JPEG image. And this, if you're using any other program, you're going to create Avery Label. You're going to use an Avery Label template and print that out on your computer, this is what you're going to want to use. Or if you're using any other type of program. Now, let's take a look at the resource guide. So let me make that a little bit smaller so it'll fit in this window. And this, is, this guide has a lot of information. Let me just scroll up to the table of contents. We talk about the certificate of authenticity, the spreadsheet, the barcode graphics. We talk about pre-printed labels and label printers. If you're an independent musician and you need a barcode for your music, we have a special category on that. We also talk about shipping container barcodes, how those work, QR codes. We have another website, mmiscan.com, where you can set up a free account to have a dynamic QR code, which is pretty cool. You might want to take a look at that. We also talk about some of our free webinars and uh, upcbarcodes.com, which is a UPC product database that will take your product information and push it out to a couple of the barcode scanner applications that are out there for smartphones, including Shop Savvy. Uh, it also pushes out data to uh, Google and Bing. So some pretty cool stuff. Now, I really appreciate your, your business. I hope this has really helped you with kind of the next steps with barcodes. If you have any questions at all, our contact information is on our homepage, www.nationwidebarcode.com. Uh, you can call us, you can email us. We'd be more than happy to help you in any way that we can. And thank you so much. I appreciate your business.